Hello guys and welcome to Python Programming Tutorials by Amul's Academy. In the previous tutorial, we discussed about the actual and formal parameters, that is, the parameters which are used in this function definition are called as formal parameters. The parameters which are used in this function call are called as actual parameters. And here in this example, we can see formal parameter name and actual parameter name is different right here it is defined as num1 here we took as n1 as i said in the previous class the position of the parameter is matters not the name of the parameter if we use different name in the function definition and function call it is acceptable and we can see that by running this program here i used input function that is I ask the user to enter the input save this and run this okay first we can see welcome message and we can see the blinking cursor that is we need to enter the input I'll enter 10 20 30 and we can see 20.0 here I enter 10 20 30 Next, I call the average function. So num1 value is 10, num2 value is 20, num3 value is 30. Control will goes to here and n1 value is 10, n2 value is 20, n3 value is 30. And it will perform this operation and it will return this value. And here I print that value to the screen. So I got 20.0. As I said, these are called as positional arguments. Instead of this positional arguments, we can use keyword arguments for that. I'll comment this. I'll directly give the input here for that. First, I'll define n2 equal to 5 and I'll write n3 equal to 1. Next is n1. I'll write 8. Here we can see first I wrote n2, next n3, next n1. And I'll save this and I'll run this. And we can see 4.6666 so on. Here first I define the n2 value, next n3, next n1. So here n1 value is 8, n2 value is 5, n3 value is 1. It is not based on the position, it is based on the keyword. Here Python provides the option to use keyword arguments. That is, instead of the positional arguments, we can use the parameter name and we can declare the value. By using the keyword arguments, we can change the position of the parameters. Okay, this is about the keyword arguments. Next, we can use default arguments also. For example, here I'll declare the parameter n3 is equal to 5. We'll get an option. Now if you want you can remove this num3. Here n3 default value is 5. If you want you can take another input also. For example if I run this I'll give 1, 2, 3. Now I'll get 2.0. 1 plus 2 is 3. 3 plus 3 is 6. 6 divided by 3 2.0 okay here n3 is equal to 5 but I asked the user to enter the input for num3 also so he entered the value 3 so n3 will take the value as 3 and it will perform the operation if I want I can remove this and I'll comment this now I'll save this and run this. Now I'll enter 10 and 20 and enter. We can see 11.666. Here I entered 10 and 20. Num1 value is 10. Num2 value is 20. So I'll call the average function 10 and 20. Here it will take n1 as 10, n2 as 20 and n3 as 5 and it will perform the operation as i said it will give the option to the user whether he need to mention one parameter or not this is called as default arguments in python 
okay this is about the function in python thank you for watching i'll meet you in next class till then take care